Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will learn to assign an alternate unit for a stock item and use it while recording transactions. Using the alternate units feature, you can assign flexible units for goods that are sold in custom sized bags or boxes. This helps you address the shrinkage or seepage and stretch or expansion of goods due to natural causes. What's more, once you assign an alternate unit for a stock item, you can do quantity adjustments in the alternate unit while recording transactions, which makes the feature all the more flexible. Now, let's create a couple of units to use as alternate units. To create a simple unit, press Alt G, create master, unit and press enter. Type is simple. Under symbol, enter bag. Formal name would be bags. Let's keep the number of decimal places as 2. Press Y. Using the same procedure, create two more simple units to use as alternate units in stock items. Let's create a unit named Gunny with number of decimal places as 2. And then create another named box with zero number of decimal places. You can also use a compound unit as alternate unit. Now, let's learn how to assign alternate units for stock items. Create a stock item. Press Alt G, Create Master Stock Item. Enter the name, say Rice. Under Units, select KG. Press F12. Set Use Alternate Units to Yes and press Ctrl A to save. The field alternate units starts appearing. Under alternate units, let's select bag and define the conversion as one bag is equal to 50 kg. In opening balance, you can use either of the units kilogram or bag. For example, if the opening balance is 1000 kg, then you can enter 20 bags or 1000 kg. As you can see, Tally Prime shows quantity as per both the units. Enter rate per kg or bag as needed. Press Ctrl A to save. It's important to note that once you use an alternate unit in a transaction, you cannot change it. Open the stock item in the alteration mode. Press Alt G, Alter Master, Stock Items, Type or select rice and press enter. As you can see, the cursor skips the alternate units field. Let's assign alternate unit to another stock item, sugar. Open it in the alteration mode. Under alternate units, let's select gunny where one gunny is equal to 100 kgs. Enter the opening balance and press Ctrl A. Re-enter quantity if the opening quantity is already there. You can enter quantity in base unit or alternate unit. Similarly, we can assign alternate unit as box for the stock item. Flag with kg as the base unit. Under alternate units, select box where one box is equal to 10 kg. Press Ctrl A to save the stock item. Now that we have assigned the alternate units for stock items, let's record a transaction involving these stock items and see how alternate units work and the flexibility offered in the product. Let's say that you are purchasing rice, sugar and flour. To create a purchase voucher, press Alt G, create voucher, press Enter, and then press F9 for purchase. Enter the supplier invoice number. Select the party and enter receipt details, party details in the respective screens. Select the purchase ledger. Now, let's start entering the stock items. Let's select rice. Under quantity, select three bags. You can see that the quantity is taken as 150 kgs as we had defined one bag is equal to 50 kgs. The amount will get calculated as per rate. However, 
if there are only 148 kg of rice in 3 bags then you can make the adjustment by defining the conversion factor for the alternate units during the transaction let's enter 148 kg is equal to 3 bags you can see that the amount got recalculated now let's enter one more stock item say sugar and enter the quantity in kg you can see the number of ganis is calculated enter rate per gani let's say rupees 5000 per gani and the amount gets calculated accordingly now enter 225 kg tally prime calculated it as 2.25 ganis remember that we had kept the number of decimal places as 2 while creating the master take another stock item flour which is to be sold in boxes select the stock item enter quantity as 100 kg as you can see the number of boxes is 10 now consider that you check the weight and found that boxes weigh only 94 kg probably due to spillage or shrinkage enter 94 kg as you can see tally prime takes the nearest figure after conversion and calculates the number of boxes as 9 This is because we had kept number of decimal places as 0 and you are entering a quantity that is not a multiple of the quantity defined for conversion to the alternate unit of the stock item. If it was 95 kg then the number of boxes would be taken as 10. Now you can enter the narration and press control A to save the voucher. As you saw Tally Prime has an excellent feature of alternate units for stock items. that enables you to track your inventory as per the kind of packages in which you are selling or purchasing the entity moreover it gives you the flexibility to adjust the conversion factor based on actuals while recording transactions and rest assured your inventory Thank will you. remain accurate